having to tiptoe around and not make any noise to wake my mom up and piss her off is how I kind of developed a very light style of footwork. Because even today, people are like, oh man, you, your footwork is like effortless. It's like, I can't even hear your feet moving, blah, blah, blah. Wanting to be a musician, wanting to be a rock star, always wanting to do stuff. Anything that rolled, skateboards, bicycles, big wheels. Oh man, I was, I was all about all that stuff. So that kind of uh, cultural thing hit me, the art, the, the music. Um, and it's a big part of who I am today. Hip hop was it. Hip hop became like my new world. You know, in that early time, it didn't matter color, race, background, anything like that. It just mattered talent. If you have the talent, you know, and you can practice hard, you get the respect. And it wasn't just rap music or breaking, it was everything at once. This was something that was brand new. Like, I'd never seen, um, you know, such colorful graffiti on the walls. I was always used to like gang graffiti in my neighborhood. Oh yeah, you'd walk right past it. But I was like, what is this stuff? Where are these colors coming from? Rocksteady crew in general, I mean, it was giving us the opportunity to battle. We, we had infamous battles. Like, we had a battle with these guys. The Imperial JBs were from Japan. They came down and like, that's a, a battle that people still talk about. This whole while I was, I was deep into um, you know, preserving the dance and, and getting more involved with Rocksteady crew. One thing you have to do in the dance is you have to learn you gotta get that soul in you. And you can dance for many years, but still not really encompass or feel what it is you're doing. You know, we were talking about a, a battle or something in the club, and I said, wow, you know, I hit that circle, and I came up, and everybody was congratulating me, and I said, I don't even know what I just did. And it was that moment, he was like, that, now, now you're a V-boy. Now you know what it is. It's my, it's, it's, your mind, your body takes over now, your soul. He's like, you're not having to think about what you're doing, you're just doing it. And that's when you come into what, what a b-boy is and, and the music and how the music, the spiritual aspect, the, the, the music, if you let it, it will touch your soul. It's kind of different styles of, of how a person wants to carry themselves in the dance, just like you would carry yourself in life. I used to dance with vendettas. Like if, if I would watch the circles and I would see who had that cocky air about them or who was being impolite to somebody or cutting someone off when they shouldn't be or just putting up kind of a fake front. And those are the people that I would target. You know, I'm not a smiler. Like, I'm out there, I'm serious business. You know, I'm, it's me. And sometimes you, you don't care about who's there. Like to me, it was me, the floor, the music, and me trying to work out my, my angst or my anger or my frustration or try to, uh, I don't know, just reach a spiritual connection with myself. And a lot of times I don't really care who's there and I, and I tune it out. There's an upside and a downside to the, to the features I've done. I've, I've done doubling for the actors. The upside is you're on this movie set, you're meeting these great people, you're being treated as an equal, as like a, a, a movie star. Um, so when I do these features, my family gets excited, everyone gets excited for me, and they go see the film and they're like, well, where were you? I'm like, well, it's very hard to tell because if the director and then the editor and everyone's doing a great job, then, uh, then you don't know it's me. You know, that's, that's the genius of it. This is the iffy part. This is the part where people get into calling people sellouts and this, this and that and the other. And you know what, there's a commercial side of everything. And if you get good at a talent, you should be allowed to make a career or money from your talent. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you feel true to what it is you're doing, then nothing anyone else says matters. And I carry that philosophy with me throughout my life and my art. I'm Easy Rock, and this is my backyard.